What is going on guys? My name is Sadio. Welcome back to the Productivity Corner podcast. Welcome back. Right, so the next couple of podcasts will probably be pre-recorded as I'm going to go through a very busy uh, semester period, if you will, uh, time frame um, where I'll be so busy that I probably won't have the time to consistently put out these videos. So I just thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to pre-record some episodes, uh, even though I like to not do that because I like to record every single week. Uh, now, uh, b- simply because I enjoy it, now I decided, you know what, hey, let's pre-record the next following uh, episodes, right? So I've got a notepad here if you're watching the video version. Uh, and in this episode, I'd like to talk about the importance of your environment, right? So I thought about this yesterday. I was thinking this morning, like, hey, what should I talk about? And I had to talk with a friend about this yesterday, right? Your environment is crucial. Why? Well, what I tend to see with myself or just the people around me is that they do what everyone else does. They value what everybody else does. If none of your friends go to college and you get a scholarship for college, nobody's going to care because it's like, oh, well, good for you. But we don't actually all do that. So we don't actually value that as much uh, as compared to when everybody's getting a scholarship around you and you get one as well. You're like part of the group. You're what everybody does. That's good. Everybody wants to celebrate with you because they feel that same happiness. They feel that same positive connection towards that thing so therefore what tends to happen is that people in communities tend to do and value and aim for strive for the same things right so everybody in a community with not a lot of money is striving to make money whether it's uh, by illegal or legal ways of getting that money Uh, that's that's kind of the thing that's going on everybody's trying to make money everybody's trying to make it everybody's trying to get out of the rut get out of that uh, financial depression or whatever it is and that's everything that's valued so if you're going to be there yeah, hey i want to be an artist i want to express myself or whatever that's probably going to be less valued there uh, than if you were in a very creative environment where everybody's trying to create and grow and do stuff like that right so a uh, point being here is that whatever environment you're in influences what you're going to do and the people around you uh how they'll support you or if they'll even support you at all so what i tend to see is that Whenever I'm in an environment with people who value the same thing, who strive for the same things, they tend to support me way more and I tend to do better because of that, because I feel more supported, I feel more loved and encouraged and therefore I tend to uh, try and overcome hurdles more and I, uh, they kind of like help me remind myself like, hey, this is worth it. Uh, but when I'm in an environment where nobody cares, for example, with, uh, with drinking, right? So let's say you're with a group of people and everybody drinks. They're not going to encourage you to stop drinking if you have a problem with drinking. It's just going to make you drink more or continue to, you know, have you continue to drink. But when you are in an environment where uh, nobody drinks and you or just a few people uh, drink a couple beers, uh, it's you're much much less likely to keep on drinking because some people are saying like hey I'm not drinking you shouldn't drink either uh, let's not have a beer together um, let's just let's just relax let's just you know I'll get us two cokes I'll get us two Pepsi whatever you know I, we'll just do that instead of actually um, you know encouraging to do uh, the things that end up in bad behavior right so. Why does this matter? Why, why does this whole story matter in the first place? Like it's clear, we get it now. It's important, your environment helps you choose, encourages you, that's what you feel Sander. But what can I do? What can I do as, a, as someone that's listening to this podcast and thinking like, hey, how can I use this to my advantage? Well, you first have to an, uh, analyze your environment. Like what kind of environment are you in? And is it helping you? Is it, is it a positive one? Is it a negative one? Is it one of influence or are they kind of like talking you down? Is it one with, A positive influence, I should say. Sorry about that. I hate when I yawn in podcasts. I normally try to cut it out, but I really couldn't stop it there. But hey, so what is it? What is it that uh, your environment is doing to you? What is it doing to your dreams, your aspirations, your visions? What is it doing in general for you? Or what is it not doing? What is it lacking? Uh, Do you lack support? Do you lack financial support? Do you lack friends and family, loved ones around you? Is your environment positive, negative, like I just said? All these things you have to understand before you can understand if it's actually having a positive or negative impact on your life. Now you have to take a look at your goals, right? So your values, your norms, your goals. See, for example, I value education. I value 
uh, truth, I value I value righteousness. That those are some of the things I very I, I, I value way more than other things in life. I don't really value things like um, uh, you know slow things that tend to go on for a long period of time. I don't tend to value things that are perfect but took way too long. I value things which are done properly in a fast pace, things that are aligned with my values, right? So so it's kind of hard to come up with an example, kind of explain what I mean, but that's to say that I value speed more so than the actual result because speed adds to the quality of the result. Uh, e even though the result may be less, uh, at least it got it done three times as fast. So that's what I value, right? I value that. And if my friends don't value that or people around me don't value that thing that I like, then obviously it's going to be a problem when we're working together, for example, on a group project because they're going to be uh, nitpicking everything. Like, hey, we got to redo that. We got to redo that. And I'm just sitting there like, hey, uh, we might not get everything perfectly done. Let's just get 80, 90% correct and then just get it, send it out. So it's, and then we'll wait for the feedback and fix it up because that's way far, uh, faster, that's way more efficient, right? So what I'll notice then if I'm in a group project with three of these people and it's just me uh, who values the speed rather than the actual perfect quality of the product, then what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna be feeling uh, left out maybe, or I'm just gonna be feeling annoyed uh, because nobody's listening to what I have to say or what I wanna do and my values don't feel respected. And if I either do not get myself aligned with my values or move towards people with the same values, that's gonna be a problem because it's gonna make my life very hard. Why would you wanna make your life hard like that? Why wouldn't you just align yourself with people with the same values? And obviously that's not to say that you're never gonna to have to talk or work with people who do not have the same values. But if you're building a team, if you're working together with people, if you have a business, and you want to have people around you who actually value the same things, who have the same goals and aspirations. You cannot work uh, in a business where one person is super lazy and the one is super active and proactive like hey let's get this done let's get this done the other one is kind of like leaning back like oh you know what i'm just gonna chill we've already made 10k i don't need 15k this month the extra 5k isn't gonna do much like you can't really work with someone like that if you do not value the same things so that's where it comes to the point where you've analyzed your environment you've seen the impact you know your goals and aspirations and your values and then what you have to do is you have to align those two how do you do that you have to find people who either boost your morale, boost your sense of happiness, your sense of, hey, I'm being heard. Um, you have to find people who have the same goals and aspirations, who value the same things. And that's not to say that you both want to have to start the exact same business in the exact same niche, or that you both have to uh, get the exact same degrees. If you value education, and none of your friends are actually going to school, then maybe you should start finding some new friends at school because then you can align with those people a little bit more. It's gonna make your life a whole lot more fun because you don't have to constantly argue with people why you choose to do certain things. And personally, myself, I do not wanna argue all single day uh, or sorry, every single day about my choices, why I do certain things. I just do things because I wanna do them with my life and I'd like people around me to uh, uh, basically, basically help me with that to um, maybe help is not the right word but to to align with that and say hey that's a good idea maybe you should do that to support me to be there for me and I don't want to sit here and constantly argue about hey maybe education isn't the right thing for you Sander maybe you should drop out maybe you should do this like you want people to support your dream and even if it's not the support you're looking for obviously at the end all at, at, at the end it comes down to you having to support your own dream but it's nice that you have some people you can uh, rely on when things get a little tough and that they're not gonna constantly um, basically try and get you to quit. That they wanna encourage you, right? So that was it for today's episode. If you did enjoy this episode, then make sure to subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys next week, Thursday, 7 p.m. GMT plus one. Peace.